inlay is one of those things that, if done well, elevates a guitar far beyond what the sum of its parts actually is, uh, as is actually the case with binding. This, this instrument for my GGBO Invitational Entry is already looking incredible, I hope, in my opinion. I haven't seen your comments yet. And a lot of that is down to the fact that the binding just picks out the shapes and the details and just makes it stunning. Now, I need to do something special for the fretboard. And uh, the flowing shapes, etc., lend itself to a vine inlay. I am trying to build an instrument for this competition that is both classical and classically beautiful and utterly unique. Welcome to my home studio. Welcome to Crimson Guitars. Welcome to my entry into the Great Guitar Build of Invitational competition. Burn it. Ha <laughs> ha, yay! Let's get on with it, shall we? Okay, so I want some hard lines. I want some flowing lines. I want oodles of mother of pearl. I think we can do that. So here's my 12th fret. What I'm after is a, a continuation of the binding, either on the edge or as purfling, up to the 12th fret, and from this side down to the 12th fret. And then essentially I want my vine to be climbing up here, going across at the 12th and then climbing up on this side, maybe? Or not? No, let's go non-standard, okay, fine. So, line all the way up one side, down the other, and I can actually do the multiply binding down one side. So we have an asymmetrical binding, um, two or three black and whites going down the edge, and then maybe just a simple black on this side, or maybe no binding at all on the other side, it's not required. We'll see what that looks like. And then essentially I'm going to have my vine. Yeah, do something cool. Three, five, nine, 12, 15, 17, 19, 21. And we're gonna have things coming out here and maybe flowers and it's gonna be gorgeous. Can you see it yet? You can't see anything, can you? Let's try and be clever. How's that? I think purfling, i.e. there's no binding on the outside edges. We've just got a line of purfling, something like that. Fifteen, seventeen. Okay. Mustn't go into the uh, yeah. Okay, fine. So the 
question is, do I want to have multiple? This is a very, very traditional vinyl inlay as it currently stands. There's nothing wrong with that. It would be beautiful. It could be beautiful. It may be beautiful. I don't know if I'm going to make it yet. I've got two weeks to finish this whole build. I've got today and maybe tomorrow to do this whole inlay. I want to deconstruct. I don't know why I'm dancing. Got ants in my pants. Coffee. Thinking time. It's raining out there. Okay. Yes, deconstruct. Now, I've often said that if you want to do an inlay and you want it to be easy and straightforward and nice, stick with organic shapes, because if you mess up, it makes no difference. So I am going to do the exact opposite and I'm going to have geometrically rectangular, square, triangular, one of those three things, leaves, and it's going to be just smooshed on there. How's that? <laughs> do what I do, not what I say. No, the other way around. I haven't actually drunk the coffee yet, can you tell? This is just excitement, pre-caffeination, excitation. There's a t-shirt there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I'm behind a mini machine. Wow. Risen. Corian. Nickel silver. Ah. Mother of pearl. Mother of pearl. that chunk. My gosh. It would be a super shame to cut that up for anything tiny. Uh, in fact, I've got lots of off cuts of bits and pieces of all sorts of stuff. Uh, so this is gold mother of pearl, black mother of pearl, there's abalone, wow. I mean mother of pearl and abalone combination would be great. I've got chunks of curved stuff, raw. Mm, this is another option. Dusty. Ugh. <laughs> Isn't that just amazing? Um, so this is Black Mother of Pearl. Maybe a combination of white and black on every 
flower, uh, every leaf, and then maybe we go in and we do some abalone, some hits of color. Oh, that's interesting. That's thick enough on that edge to actually be my, the stem of this. Let's try that. I don't have the time. <laughs> I don't have the time. Okay. Um, no, okay. Abalone, mother of pearl, the whole thing mother of pearl. The, the larger sections I have are flat mother of pearl. And they're just the normal white. So potentially I make the stem of the plant in mother of pearl and the leaves and just have the whole thing white. Or do I want to mess around with curved sections of gorgeous abalone. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure that this collection of shells came from a gentleman who uh, is unfortunately deceased, but he used to restore vintage pen knives and things. And uh, yeah, it came through uh, vintagetoolshop.com and uh, I haven't looked at it since, to be honest, which is <sighs> remiss. You got that shape there, there. The same piece has got a different curve on this side. I could design the whole vine based on using different edges of this one piece of abalone. I think I'm gonna have to try that. Yes, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use different edges of this to get my shapes and different curves and things and I'll adjust the design a little bit in order to do that, as long as this works. I'm gonna to have to grind the sides flat. I'm gonna use the oscillating spindle belt sander from Triton. Uh, <laughs> it seems to be used for every single thing else. Why not shell as well? The problem is shell is I think it's, well, it's nasty, nasty, nasty. I will have a multitude of windows open. I will have my gas mask on. In fact, I wear a proper gas gas mask and uh, I will grind it. Then I'm gonna go and have some lunch while the dust clears. I don't have an air purification thing in this workshop at the moment. Do not do this if you don't have good airflow. This stuff, if it gets in your lungs, it stays there forever and you end up with, <sighs> I want to say necrotizing fasciitis, but that's wrong. Let me know what you end up with uh, in the comments below. And also, what do you think of the design as it stands? Come on then. What a mess. Oh, and doing that with the masking tape and the design and taking it off the thing, I fully expect you to say wow in the comments. I've been building guitars for 20 years. That's the first time that's ever occurred to me to do. And I'm a genius. Arrogant prick, but pretty clever. <laughs> oh no, now I'm embarrassed. Let's go over to Triton Corner. Triton Central? Triton Central. I haven't lost it, honest.
every time. Not as strong in this orientation. Okay, you beautiful people. I think I'm slightly overcomplicating things here. I like it. I do. But I really do also think that I've got a few too many pieces. So, you know, for example, it doesn't need as much, does it, really? It's just... Okay, on to the leaves. The original thought was loads and loads and loads of mother of pearl and just have a really white, bright, fantastic thing like that. I'm not gonna do that. I have fallen in love with this. And uh, I think I'm going to make, well, the edges are there. And uh, I think we can do the rest of it as well, using that phase and maybe some mother of pearl as well. But predominantly this, a balloon. I don't change my mind very often. I just know what's right and what's wrong, and I'm wrong right now. Option number one, actually I'm pretty sure that was option number one, which is uh, a bit of mother of pearl in a triangle. Option number two was a bit of abalone with a little bit of mother of pearl on one edge. Option number three was not filmed, was this. Uh, four pieces of Mother of Pearl. Focus dynamic. Just looks so... <sighs> contrived? I don't know, I don't like it. I'm going back to the original plan, which is a much more naturalistic Mother of Pearl leaf. And then I might, I almost certainly will, do some abalone flowers of some sort. I think this is just part of my creative process. It's the way I do things. I do something and if I'm enjoying it, I do it more until I don't enjoy it anymore and then I stop. This one just wasn't working for me. I am using a jeweler's saw. Good quality 4.0 blades and I'm gonna cut up a buttload with Mother of Pearl now. Always.
That's a little bit complex, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. The sort of half frame kind of idea, that is going to be in Mother of Pearl as well, just because. So, yeah, why not? I mean, at this stage, I am working late, it's nearly 10pm, and I'm maybe slightly mentally impaired, but I don't mind. Come on then. Same process. Cut bits out. See if it looks nice. Stuff. Nonsense. We can do it. These are big cuts. I'm going to wear my mask. I doubt these are going to be absolutely perfect, and that's kind of part of the... I'm sketching. I'm sketching in pearl. Yeah. All right, the next day has dawned and time has come for a slight change in pace. I'm not going to finish this entire inlay in just two days. I've, of course, overcomplicated it, but I'm happy with that overcomplication. Uh, I've, got a, I've had a few more ideas while I was uh, resting my weary head last night, and uh, we'll have a look at that. But then we're going to move on to the aforementioned back part of this instrument. I've had some more thoughts. Thoughts are dangerous. Where are the thought police anyway? That's the panic when my pencil isn't in my pocket. By the way, don't keep pencils in your pocket. I, I keep mine along the outside seam of my jeans so that uh, there's absolutely no danger of me stabbing myself and it clips in this is the graph gear 1000 i'm not sponsored i just love them and uh, that clip is good and strong and fantastic uh, but anyway you probably didn't need to know that let's let's move on shall we so these are looking very solid i mean it's a very very straightforward inlay actually if, however, I cut the centers out and either cut it around some ebony or potentially even fill with, uh, I don't know, copper inlay powder, something like that, we'll have a much more delicate looking vine. There we go. I think we've got what I'm after here. It's looking much more delicate, much more attractive. Yeah, I hope you'll agree. Let me know if you think I should add any abalone flowers or anything like that. I do not, at this stage, think that that is going to be the case. However, I'm going to leave the inlay at this point, at this stage, and uh, move on to the body. The other masking tape trick, I use this for frets as well. I'm not worried about the uh, bits on the edge at all. It's just the, the leaves and stems, etc. that need to be kept roughly in the right position. Like so. So now I can set this aside. I'm not going to lose any of my delicate little pieces. I know they're roughly in the right place. And when it comes to, uh, well, the next episode, I can just carry on where I left off. We're gonna do away with that entirely. I'll find another build for the body blank, I think. Sorry, I think I'm going to do away with it entirely. This is the internal surface. The outside is sanded to a better, better level. I am wondering where my center line is. Wow, it's a good joint.
Is that a good idea or not? I think possibly not. At least the idea itself is fine. I don't think... I th I'm happy with the outline as it stands. So essentially, the thought is to make the back a slightly different shape to the front so that you've then got... Uh, you're doubling up on the cool binding in places. But I think from the front, I'm happy with this outline. What we're going to then do is have a different shape, a slightly smaller back, and essentially the back will have a, <laughs> I'm not sure what you can see here, the back will have your belly cut, cut into it, and from the rear you'll have all of these interesting things, ah, no, that causes a trouble. Don't cause a trouble, Ben Crow. <laughs> okay, um, shush, go away, leave me alone. Thinking time. It didn't work, I know you're still there. No, that just doesn't. And that's then far too big. Don't need it any bigger at the front here. I really don't. Anyway, smaller. That's quite cool, actually. So... I feel that in life it is very, very important not to forget to play. I don't think this has worked. I, I do like that area. I think the concept is fine, but as a whole instrument, I'm too much in love with the existing shape to want to add the extra confusion of these bits sticking out from behind with binding etc. It could be attractive but it's a bit of a gamble. I really like that bit there. So what I am gonna do, go back to the drawing board. like only the second time in my entire YouTube career that I said that, I think. Hmm. And that works out better. The problem is, it pushes the bolts that are gonna hold the top and the back together. Yes, I did just say bolts. It pushes them too far away from the edge on the front. And I wanna kinda of hide them, but they also need to be correct. I say bolts, I'm still thinking about maybe gluing wood, bolts, wood. really should make my mind up before I get into a, this far into a build at least. The back is going to be the same shape as the front. Period. There's, there's no need to change it. Except maybe in the plane position. This is the opposite of what I was planning on building. I literally was, the, 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 the whole entire other build that was going to be my great guitar build of injury was going to be a selection of different squares and boxes. Sharp edges, corners, all around, no curves anywhere. Look at what has come about instead.
So we thought that uh, it would be dry and that this was the time to have the path f uh, put in up to the house because, you know, boggy, clayey ground. It's wet, but the chickens are enjoying it. So they heard me talking about them. They were rummaging around in that pile of, of mess. And they heard me talking about them and said, oh, wait, put me on camera. Egotistical bastards, really. Could we love them? <laughs> I really need to play with the headstock. So here's a trick. Um, draw around, draw around the paddle headstock, put it on a uh, bit of notebook, take it up to the house and spend weeks figuring out your headstock design. Headstocks are the most difficult things to design. We'll get there next week. Wrong way around. There's a new pair of these with uh, um, active noise cancelling. Linkware, I think they call it. I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. That, in my mind, is pure magic. This binding process is going to be so much easier. As an aside, isn't that quite a cool shape with the binding like that? I think that's quite funky. Anyhow, let's crack on. The joint is going to be on the center line underneath the neck and we'll do something pretty there, I assume. Okay, medium strength star bond super glue. Best super glue I've ever used. Check the description for uh, coupons, etc. Okay, now, this is, this is done, we're dusted. Uh, I'm going to script this off and that's gonna be the end of the episode, so. We're getting that.
What do you think then? All right, I am incredibly happy with the, the, uh, the, the progress on this instrument. The inlay is going to be finished next week. The body... Hold on, I think I need to finish the entire guitar next week. We'll get there. Click like, subscribe if you haven't yet. Let me know what you think. Please do not forget that this is a major competition. There are loads of other people in it. Uh, the main Great Guitar Builder competition and the Invitational in which this is a competitor, which uh, just, just check out the other builders. It is well worth your time. And uh, yeah, I'm being given a run for my money. That is for damn sure. There are some incredible things coming on. Uh, okay, well, I need to put this camera down because it's actually really, really heavy in one arm and I'm a weakling, so there we go. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.